multiple production companies just hit the filmmaking scene in Albuquerque, and they've already completed their first short film. Big things coming for this company. And here with more on all of it, it's one of the producers just, with just Busy Day through. Productions. Thomas Nottis, good to have you this morning, Thomas. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this production company. How did it all get started? And it's New Mexico based, so it's kind of home for you. Yes, it is. Um, how it started. I was three years old and um, I landed some smaller parts, smaller roles uh -huh. back in Hungary. But long story short, we get to that question anyway. So later on, <laughs> later on, I ended up here in New Mexico. And this is a production company employing local people, uh, trying to make the local film industry a little bit better, um, hiring local crews, uh, talents, because we have a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sure do. There's a lot of talent here. You're, you said you're from Hungary, so explain how your journey brought you to here, to Mexico. New Mexico, I should say. Yes, I was born in Budapest, Hungary, mm -hmm. and then I started doing martial arts when I was three years old. Uh, later on, I landed some, some smaller parts and roles in, in movies and commercials because of my martial arts skills. And then in 1997, I won the world championship oh, wow. in Las Vegas, Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, that's when the Karate Federation invited me and, and asked me to represent the United States team at How about that? international tournaments. Then we moved to New York. I met my wife. Uh, from there, we moved to Los Angeles. And then my wife got a job opportunity here in Albuquerque about two and a half years ago, and we ended up here. Now, you wanted to start a production company, but why film here instead of someplace like L.A.? What's, what's the appealing part about Albuquerque and, and New Mexico as a whole? Well, the two two main things. Uh, the first one is the, is uh, the scenery. I mean, we have beautiful mm -hmm. scenery here. We have winter time. We have snow. We have deserts. We ha we pretty much have everything, and more. Mm -hmm. But but the number one reason is the crew and the talent. I mean, it's not just a crew and talent. They have passion. They have heart. It's not just about making a movie. Every time we do something, they you you could tell the difference between someone who's just doing it for a paycheck or someone who do it, mm -hmm. does it because they have the heart in it. Mm -hmm. well, there's a lot of passion behind it. You have any uh, local producing partners in this in the production company? I do, actually, I do. Yes, I have uh, Thad Turner from uh, Roswell Studios. I have uh, Tommy Truex and and uh, Chris Rainey, who is my line producer, and they have done many movies. They're excellent, excellent talents as well. And I'd like to mention Aubrey Padilla, who's not just my executive producer, but she's a good family friend as well. That's very cool. So uh, that, without uh, all that background, I'm curious what you're actually putting out. What's your latest short film? Latest short film is about a, an ex-gangster who, um, who left his life behind about five years ago, became domesticated, and got married, opened up his own bar, and moved from Sacramento to Albuquerque, New Mexico. His nickname was the Hangman of Sacramento, but unfortunately... You can't always escape from your past. Mm -hmm. And when those ghosts start knocking on your doors, trouble comes with it. What inspired you to create a story like this? And by the way, we're looking at some video of it here, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, uh, what inspired me? Yeah. Um, I was told by a couple of people, they trusted me so much, they said if I can put together a project, they will fund my feature film. Mm -hmm. So the short project is about that. It was uh, uh, directed by a local pro uh, director, Eric Martinez, and uh, I had many other local local people who helped me put in this, uh, this this project together because they believe we can do the feature film as well here in New Mexico. Where can people see it if they want to if they want to check it out? I will we will the production company will uh, have a screening hopefully in September. Okay. It will be a red carpet screening and people will be invited. How about that? Very very yeah. neat. All right. Where can people mo learn more about Busy uh, Busy Day Productions? Uh, busydaymovie.com okay. or on Facebook, Twitter, all those social yeah, all the media, social media outlets too. Well, we'll have a link to it at krqe.com. Okay. Thomas, thank you for being here. Thank what a neat much. adventure you guys have going and wish the best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Keep us posted on when that premiere happens. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.